Lesson 1 of 32, the Do major, C major scale, part 7 of 7. So musician with 5, ninth chords in root position only, in the Do major, C major natural scale. A ninth chord has 5 notes in its fundamental or root position. These 5 notes are the fundamental, the 3rd, the 5th, the 7th, and the ninth. The fundamental is the lowest sounding note. The third is the first note above the fundamental, which forms either a major third or minor third interval with the fundamental. The fifth is the second note above the fundamental, which forms either a diminished fifth, perfect fifth, or an augmented fifth interval with the fundamental. The seventh is the third note above the fundamental, which forms either a diminished seventh, minor seventh, or a major seventh interval with the fundamental. The ninth is the fourth note above the fundamental, which forms either a minor ninth, a major ninth, or an augmented ninth interval with the fundamental. A ninth chord has only five positions, fundamental or root position, abbreviated as 9-7 or 9, first inversion, abbreviated as 7-6, second inversion, abbreviated as 5-4, third inversion, abbreviated as 3-2, and fourth inversion abbreviated as 4-2, which is rarely used. In a major natural scale, there are only five possible ninth chords when combining the seven notes of this scale, the major chord with a major seventh and a major ninth, the major chord with a minor seventh and a major ninth, the minor chord with a minor seventh and a major ninth, the minor chord with a minor seventh and a minor ninth, and the diminished chord with a minor 7th and a minor ninth. For brevity reasons, I am presenting only the root position of the ninth chord. It will suffice at this stage of your ear training practice. For a brief introduction to the theory of ninth chords, please Google the words about ninth chords Liviano and you will have the link to a free YouTube presentation on this subject. One more thing, please remember that only with a constant daily effort would you achieve anything worthwhile, including a well-trained musical ear? Anything that you do over and over again, you will master. Yes, it takes courage, patience, desire, and lots of discipline to go through all these exercises. The results that you are seeking will not be evident in an instant. This is an incremental and steady learning process, and the exercises that you are practicing here were designed to produce permanent results as efficiently and as fast as possible. Once you master these drills, you will have developed an irreversible skill, the ability to recognize musical sounds and the relationship between them in any genre of music, from classic to jazz to country to hip hop to rock, etc. It is just like learning to ride a skateboard. It takes time and practice, but once you get it, it feels great. This skill has to be fully integrated in your musical development, whether you're a drummer, pianist, singer, guitarist, etc. Otherwise, it is useless. The Liviano method for ear training derives from the organizational and structural logic of the exercises, which reflect the natural laws of the Western tonal system. Listen, sing, repeat.